all begins with God. The simple life begins with an understanding of God, who he is, and what he's done for us. Over the course of these next four sessions, we are going to be looking at the simple life. What does it mean to live simply? To live simply with our, our time, our resources, and our relationships. I love this concept. My wife and I, we've been on a journey of simplifying our home. You know, getting rid of the things we don't need. Items, clothes that we've been holding on to for, for years. Thinking, you know, one day I'll wear this. Uh, but we all have those clothing items that just sit in the closet. Facebook buy-sell groups, as well as those clothing donation bins have been our friend. Did you know that, that there are some agencies that will literally come to your door and pick up items that you're willing to donate? <laughs> it's awesome. The simple life. I want it. I want it so bad. In an overly complex world, I have this draw to simplicity. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I know life can be complicated, I get it, but there is a way to simple living that I think we can all move towards and make those steps. So, where do we begin? It all begins with God. I don't think that I have to convince you that God is important in your life. I think many of us agree that there's nothing, nothing more important than Him. My desire is, is to live a life centered on God, to know him and to make him known. He is our, our creator. He's our savior. He's everything that we need. When Jesus walked this earth as a man, he often talked about people who on the outside, you know, they looked like they had it all together, like they knew God, but on the inside, they were far, far away from him. These people, these people were the, were the Pharisees. Now, the name Pharisees means separated ones. They followed the law. Some might say religiously. Now, the strict way of life for the Pharisees caused them to be legalistic. Instead of dealing with issues of the heart, instead of having any internal changes, they relied on their actions to show God and others how good they were. They relied on, on their ability to follow a long list of rules to prove their worthiness. You know, this is a group of people that in all respects, you know, they wanted to be closer to God. They, they fully knew that it all began with him. I mean, they went to synagogue, read holy scriptures. You know, they followed the rules, the long list of rules. The simple life for many means getting closer to God. So, how do we approach the simplicity without the complexity? The simple life starts with God, and we can start by thinking our, about our relationship with Him. Are we moving closer to God? Is God a priority in your life? Let's make it even more simple. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. The Great Commandment. From Jesus himself, make God a priority. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Are you loving God with all that you are? This is truly the simple way of looking at it. I mean, the complexity comes with setting goals, making changes, moving forward. But I think it's, it's great to start simply, to ask ourselves honestly, do we love God? Do we love him with all our heart? all our soul, all our mind. You know, I love Philippians 2, how it reads, you know, forgetting what is behind, straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. The journey to God is, is exactly that. It's a journey that we press towards, that, that we strain, that we move towards God. We, we continue seeking God because it's the road to healing, the road to recovery, the road to restoration. It all begins with him. Now, remember the Pharisees, you know, they, they worked out of religious obligation. But God's after your heart. Now, for some of you, maybe you realize that something is missing in your life. Or maybe you realize someone is missing from your life. And you also realize that you will never get your life in order until you give priority to the one who created you. 
And the beginning point of getting closer to God is knowing God through his son, Jesus Christ. We must first acknowledge and understand that we are sinners and that, that we need God to forgive our sins. We must turn away from our sins, to repent, to turn towards God. And by faith, accepting what Jesus has done for us by dying on the cross, took the punishment for us. And we must believe and confess that Jesus died and rose from the dead, that he conquered death. And when we trust in Jesus, we trust that he is our savior, that God has forgiven our sins and gives us the promise of hope and eternal life. Is there really anything more important than getting closer to God? Personally, I don't think so. Now is the time to begin that journey if you haven't already. God longs for a deeper relationship with us, with you. James 4, 8 says this, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, double-minded people. The simple life. The simple life is a, a focused life, walking with, pressing towards the goal for which God has called us heavenward in Christ Jesus, drawing near to God through Jesus. And that's the, the foundation upon which everything else is built.